People deluded, I'm back again. Thank you very much for tuning back in. Now, you know me, I love Arsenal Football Club and I love to see our young players of tomorrow. Now, although I wasn't there at the Arsenal game versus Spurs, a trusted source relayed some information to me and I've been trusting them for a while and I trust them with my life. So I kind of believe what they say. Um, or was I there? I guess we'll never know. It's just one of the many mysteries that make up Deluded. But either way, you know, Arsenal and Spurs is under 23s drew 2-2 two, two, and it had some good talking points. I mean, George Lewis scored a goal. Balogun also scored and probably should have scored a couple more. You know, he missed a couple of sitters. It's nice to see Arthur Okwankwu, forgive me for mispronunciations, actually able to play football again. I don't want to get into details and talk about someone's health because I do think when it's a delicate situation like his, his best information comes from the horse's mouth. But just to, let's just put it like this, just to be able to play football and stuff is a blessing. So it's lovely to see him able to line up. Salah Adin is out there. Obviously, people aren't match fit. Didn't exactly stand out, but you get to see him. He looked like he, he's calm receiving the ball between the lines and playing and, and positioning his body at certain angles to receive and make a pass and playing. He weren't the best of games for me. He didn't stand out and weren't amazing. But yeah, Miguel Aziz did all right. Still want to see a bit more from him at this level. As I said, George Lewis, for me, gave a bit of promise I feel I think kiddo um under 18s player look sharp off the look sharp off the bench but I feel you know looking at the game you know both teams started very scrappy I'd give it to Spurs if anything they were in our half just that little bit more they looked the stronger the sides in the first 10 I think Daniel at right back looking to him to make the under 23s fullback position his own especially especially with Swanson gone and not able to play across the back three back four sorry he looked quite good and quite strong but other than that we looked we were playing quite poor and we were hanging on for, uh, for a couple of moments there were a couple of sloppy passes the, the good thing is this is pre-season you want to get it out um they went one nil ahead you know it was a poor set it was a set piece from us with um from them sorry defending poorly it fell to a spurs lad who more or less just converted from close range but it's a poor sequence of play you know there's several it's one of them where you can see a catalogue of errors it's good that this happened in pre-season but you shouldn't really be conceding from a set piece like, like such Balogun, I felt, looked determined and was trying to find holes, but, you know, he was he was man-marked at times. They were doubling up on him. I feel, you know, even before he scored, he missed a couple of Balogun ch chances, Balogun scores in his sleep. Allegedly, if we just go on, you know, rumours and stuff, he might not be here long. I think Ben Cottrell played all right. You know, the only thing for me, Ben Cottrell needs to improve now is just develop a tiny bit physically and there's nothing stopping him from playing senior football somewhere. Um, so, yeah, man, they went ahead. The only good thing about that is we started to play some lovely football and, you know, Cottrell was involved in the ball down the left-hand side before, you know, it was a lovely one-two. I think Technic, was it Balogun or Lewis? I can't remember the order of the goals, but it was a lovely one-two race down the left-hand side of sorts and it slotted into the far post. And if I remember rightly, it was George Lewis and it's a, it's a glimpse as to what potentially he can show at this level that he could do. Lovely bit of um, love, lovely bit, lovely bit of play, really and truly, people. Um, Thirty third minute, like I said, good work from Salah Odin to to create the chance. Um, and again, I've seen Balogun score this chance several times, but he missed the tap in. Um, so yeah, essentially, we're still banging on the door, banging on the door, banging on the door. We obviously go ahead, people, in the second half. Balogun finally finds the back of the net. It's quite a difficult finish. Nonetheless, it's 2-1 ahead. Long story short, we let ourselves down again. You know, defenders are missing the first header and it's taking a bit of a ricochet. It's falling to the path again of a Spurs player who puts it in. So it's pre-season. There isn't too much to be angry about and stuff, but this is where you get out now because the season started for our 23s, you know. Forgive me if I'm wrong, and unless they played yesterday, which I don't think they, they are, and at the time of making this vid, we're a couple of hours away from actually playing Ipswich in, in the EFL Cup um, or whatever they call it now, checker trade, whatever it is, um, for the, it's technically a 21 side but it is our under 23s. Our season starts now, you know, we've got Ipswich today, we've got Southampton on Friday I believe and our under 18s also have Southampton to kick off the season so it's here. Keen to see what happens at 23s level this year because I think there's places to, up for grabs, I think, you know, Miguel Aziz is clearly going to get a lot of opportunities. It's down to him to make that his own and progress beyond this level. I think Ben Cottrell with certain other midfielders 
He has been, for a while, one of the most underrated prospects. And now you're seeing against MK Dons, the lad's decent. think he's got an opportunity. Daniel at right back, you know, you've seen what he's been doing at under-18s. He's got a long way to improve and a lot of things he needs to polish out of game. But that's a man with a future and he played very well. And I think he's going to lock down that role, you know. Um, he's a very good kid. He always wants to improve and stuff like that. So I think he'll lock it down. So I'm keen to see what happens at 23's level, especially... Because Balogun will probably leave, Greenwood's gone, you know, you've got no more Matt Smith at this level, Zach Swanson, two consistent performers, you know, I'm keen to see what happens and, you know, I, I, I like him, what I'm seeing from Akinola, the lad that we bought from, well, the, the midfielder, but the um, Akinola, and also the the the, the, the centre-half we bought from Spurs, Desaigne, you can't say his name or remember it, apologies, um, liking what I'm seeing from George Lewis and these players are playing for futures, you know, they're not 17, 18 years of age where they can go through the motions. I can't imagine any of these new recruits have signed anything longer than a one 18 month year deal. So you want to push on, you know, you want to show that I'm too good for this level. Arteta needs to use me sort of thing. Or if not, if I was one of them, if I can't get in the picture here within the next year or so, playing at Arsenal and being here, I want to use this opportunity to put myself in the shop window for other clubs so I can get my senior career going. That's only going to come with consistency and I'm keen to see how the 23 shape up, you know, Carl. We've certain players that need to go out on loan have gone out on loan. Tyrese John Jules will go out on loan, people. You can quote it from me. I don't know where, but I know... I Probably educated guest goes out on loan. Balogun's not going to be here. We've seen Swanson, Shave, Medley, Coyle, and there's however many more gone out on loan. So there's opportunities. There's going to be opportunities for the under 18s as well um, at this level because of the amount of players are leaving. I know we've brought some in. We might bring some more in. Kiddo came. Kiddo Taylor Hart came on as well. Um, um, forgive me if I haven't got his name mixed around. He, he's had a bit of a. He was one that I was looking at when he was becoming a scholar to be, you know, one of the flag bearers. And he's kind of struggled. He's had a bit of injuries, and I won't say it's a make or break season, but you want to see a bit from him at 18s. Well, is he is he even eligible for 18s anymore? I don't even know. But he's a decent player, and he looked good when he came off the bench in his little cameo. I mean, he looked a, he looked like he's bulked up a bit during lockdown, and. You know, he's got the ability, but it's about displaying it, you know. Um, Josh Martin, he's doing his thing at Norwich, you know. He, he's on the cusp of the first team, but at Arsenal, he struggled. These things can happen, you know. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. But it was a good little outing. And like I said, our season starts today against Ipswich. And on Friday, we play Southampton. I'm keen to see what happens at under-18s level because I've mentioned it. We've got a very young group of players, but a very tight-knit bunch. Like, you know, Charlie Patino, Edwards, um, Moro, um Tyler Ferran, Brooke at right back, Amari Hutchinson, uh, there's bare of them man, there's bare of them and if I haven't said them, Flores, there's bare of them, there's a good collective group of players you know and they all fight for each other so I'm keen to see how that develops over the next two years and I do think there's a couple of players there that will have professional futures be it at Arsenal or elsewhere, I hope it to be here, I do think some will go on to have good careers you know, a good handful of them. But it's down to them to realise their potential. And you know me, people, I'll be back here to review our game against Ipswich. It's actually £10 online, you know. This is how much they try and fleece, um, fleece fans. £10 to watch under-23s or under-21s, in fact. Some Mazzolini. But I'll be there to review the game. Well, tomorrow to review the game. But in relation to our friendly against Spurs and just my thoughts on the 23s in general... Yeah, man, that's all, all I wanted to see. And I, I, I quite like that Salah Odin guy, man. I think he can play decent. I, I don't, I think, it weren't, he weren't amazing, no trailblazer, based on what I'm told. But, um, you know, his passing was good. He got in between the lines. He wants the ball. Probably needs to bulk up a bit. But I like him, man. He can be a player at this level. And I believe he's 17, technically. We could might be able to use him at under-18s level, for me, in the FA Cup. Because, FA Youth Cup, sorry. Because you need experience to kind of get through. Um, and I'm hoping he could be one. Again, I don't know if anyone's going to make it here. But we need players with potential. And hopefully these are new additions can do something for the team. Hopefully the scholars can do any, do something. Hopefully the... Under 23 players that I've said, the Miguel Azizis and players like that, can make these opportunity, can take these opportunities um, at 23's level under Steve Bold and make it their own and progress and do better things um, beyond this level. But in relation to me and what I have to say, I've got nothing more to add. So why waste any more of your time? It's always a pleasure. People deluded. I'm out.